Hey guys, welcome back to another Stamping Fun Friday. So today it's collaboration time again with the lovely Kate from Dixie Girl XOX. Our theme this week was we had to pick an image from her new Dixie Plate DP04 and use that in a nail look. So I've gone for a gradient today and I've double stamped with the fabric image and Kate has used an image which I am desperate to use because it is just beautiful. It's the negative space flower image. So straight on to my base colours. I'm using all the gel bottle ink gel polish today. And first up is this colour 054 and it's a really gorgeous bright pink. And I thought this would go perfect with it as a gradient and it's 060 and it's this really lovely lilac. And to top everything off, I'm using the No Wipe Extreme Shine Top Coat. And for stamping, I'm using All Nail Stamping Queen UK in black and white. And these are obviously in my store and they will be back in stock late September time. And I'm using my favourite stamper at the moment. This is the Clear Dixie Plates Big Red Stamper. Again, back in stock, hopefully end of September. This is the image I'm going to be double stamping with on DP04. So initially for the gradient I'm just going to use this flat gel brush for now. So I've got a base here and I've got just one coat of the lilac. It's very very pigmented so I've just used the one coat. And then I've just decanted a bit of the pink and I'm going to pick it up on the brush and just feather it about halfway up the nail. And then I'm going to take a piece of makeup sponge with some tweezers, dab a tiny bit of product on the end, and then I'm just going to soften that line up a little bit. And then once you're happy with your blend, you can just cure that in your lamp. So I'm going to stamp directly onto the colour coat. So I'm just going to really gently remove the inhibition layer with some cleanser. So first I'm going to stamp all the nails with the white. And here I'm just quickly separating the dried polish away from the nail. So when I come to top coat, I don't seal in anything that I don't want. So this is my hand that I've already done and I'm going to stamp the black now and I'm going to stamp it slightly to the side so it's overlapping but you can still see the white coming through.
And now I'm going to clean up and top coat. So here are the finished nails and I think they're really funky and I haven't double stamped for a while so really enjoyed doing that. So if you want to go and see how Kate did hers, I'll leave a link to her channel in the corner for you now. So go and check out her video. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.